Hello gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here back again with another video. Gonna be digging in. It's a diggy kind of a night. Uh, I organized a little bit on my table but not a whole lot. Um, had to make some room cause dang there's a lot of stuff. Okay we're gonna start off with an interesting one. This is a steel chainmail belly dance belt. It's real heavy and really awesome and I wish I could still fit into it because it's really neat. It's really really cool and it's got a long chain. Not long enough for my fat <laughs> personage. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's cool. I don't know where to put that. That's I'll, I'll list it, but I, I just, you know, it's an interesting one to get in a thing like this. I kind of like that better than the Chinese one, because it's more authentic. And stuff. And here's a little bitty. It's a mitten. It's a mitten. It's a little mitten with crystals. A crystal and a pearl. And I have about 20 of these things all throughout this lot. They're just every stinking wear. They're not all on chains, but the little charms, there's a whole bunch of them. Here is a piece of broken something. That will go in Crafty Crafts. Which one is Craft? There it is. This is a little... Pardon my nails, pardon my everything. I was cleaning. I didn't put on any jewelry either. It's a little plastic, little plastic, um, baubles with a little sparrow. Is that a sparrow or a swallow? I don't, I don't know. It's a bird, okay? It's a bird. On a medium-ish chain. Take that over here. Oh wait, no, that goes in the small, small pile, little small one. Here is a nice one without a name. It's very shiny and bright. It's a nice chain. And then it has a little star and some little bubbly bits. And then it goes down to a Y and three beads. And then this little collection of thingies here. It has a little, a couple little dangles on each strand, a little heart, a little bow. Oh, wait, no, it's not a bow, it's a butterfly. Yeah, it's cute. Butterflies and hearts, who doesn't love that? And it's, you know, real soft colors. It's kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. A little yellow and, and mint green, and this last one is pink, so it's very pastel y. And what the heck did I do to my hand? I got a weird spot in my hand. Oh, so I hang that over there. Oh, it's time to grab another handful. If I can. Ow. That's a pin. <laughs> uh, oh, come on. Really? The cheese just keeps going. Alright, well. Tangly time, I guess. Uh, I think I dropped something. Oh, well. Here's an interesting one. Let's see if I can get it untangled here. Big chain, big links. Well, big compared to what we normally see. Big links and a, a round hoop and this bead with swirlies in it. And it's kind of hard to see what they're going for there. And a little tassel. I'm thinking 
That's weird because the tassel doesn't hang right. Like you'd have to split it between the front and the back to get it to hang right. There, like that. And it still doesn't really hang right. So I don't know. I don't know about that. I would like it better without this piece in the middle. You know, just connect this, these, this to this, the bottom of this. That might be a thing that I do because this is weird. Strange and weird and different. Uh. I know if I put it in the dismantle pile, he's going to go, huh? What do you mean? But I will anyway. <laughs> I think it'll be much better without that piece. Now watch, it's probably some high dollar designer that I'm ruining. Here's a little wooden beads. Little wooden beads. Did I turn on? Did I turn on my torch? Yes, I think I did. Alright, here's another wood bracelet that needs some oiling. That's a nice one. You know I love that. i put that aside because that goes with the rest of my wood bracelets. Here's another busted chain. Put that in the busted chain pile. Here it is. Some other stuff. Uh, this one has a hook on it. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. There's that gray hoop earring that we had before. Put that over there. Here's a cute little choker. Eh, hold on. It's one of these velvet ones with four little, uh, five little, uh, five little starbursts with A B stones in the middle. Oh, it flipped! Isn't that cute? It's adorable with black ribbon and the ribbon's pretty clean looks looks pretty good looks like it barely got worn probably because it's stabity a little bit but that's cool um, put that back in here here is a pair of horn rim glasses europaeye.com on one of these chains. This is a nice chain. We're gonna steal that. Oh, come on. Really? You're gonna, okay. That is not a thing that I need to have, so we're gonna put that in a junk pile. <sighs> but this is a nice chain. It's nice and shiny and bright. And there are certain things that look good on a ball chain. Uh, here's a little teeny one of these. It's all kind of tangled up. Come on. Oh wow, what is this? Who is it that has the the little thingy with the little rhinestone and there's a word. Stella and Dot. So this is a Stella and Dot that's terribly tangled. And it's one of these. And it's nylon it's like nylon uh cording. So it's got a little horseshoe and the little Stella and Dot tag. And I don't know what else, if anything. I'm going to put that in the untangle pile. Mm. 
Here is a big old oak leaf. Oh, it's not a brooch. What the heck is it? It's a brass leaf that you stick in something. Stick it, stick it. That goes in the crafts. This looks like an origami owl. Or some facsimile uh, thereof. Close facsimile, or however you want to say it. Here's another. Here's another thread or even stuck into something. Eee! Silver threader. Put that all away. Uh, man, it's going to take a couple of days just to go through the earrings. There's a pair of post earrings. Little yellow, little yellow stones. See? Can you see them? Like that. That over there. Here is a. Uh, this is the one that's caught on the origami owl thingy. Come on, now stop. Open up. Open up. I gotta redo my nails again because they're gross. I don't know what the heck happened. I rushed it, I think. Because the yellow, ugh, the yellow nails were making me crazy. Alright, so that goes in the untangle pile. Here's some nice glass beads that we're gonna snatch off of there. This is Origami Owl with nothing in it. I don't have any little doodads to put in it. It goes in the untangle pile. Here is the Lord knows what. Looks like alien blood or something. It says Robin in it. It looks like a rice grain in green liquid. That's freaking weird. Okay, trashy time. That's in the trash pile. Trashy, trashy. That's not nothing I'm even going to pass on to anybody. That's just garbage. Garbage. Alright, unless somebody packs up and says, or pipes up and says, Ooh, I want that. Which I highly doubt. This is a pretty one. With a nice bright chain. And no mark at all. It's really pretty though. It's going over there in the goodies. Goody goodies. This is very heavy and very awesome. Black and hema pearl a glass pearl and hematite. And it's really cute. And very simple. So you could wear this with a black and white shirt of some sort and it wouldn't like overpower the clothing at all so you could like wear a pattern a black and white pattern yeah these are definitely um glass pearls those are nice nice do we want to put them in a real nice pile or just a nice-ish nice-ish i like the way they feel that's why i want to put them in a the real nice but there's no name on them I kind of been sorting as I go. One of those, you know, a million of those. Uh, here's one of these guys. Ooh. With little wooden beads on a hemp necklace. I have another one of them over there. Here's an earring. Ooh, a button. Look at this button. That finish is called Dragon's Breath. It's a glass, it's a type of finish they use on glass. And it's got, it has orange and purple fire with some uh, gold foiling in it. And I had a set of beads that was my auntie's. 
Uh, I gave it to my daughter, and I looked them up online, and just that small strand that I had, it was graduated, and it was about a 16 inch, and the lar largest bead was yeah, kind of about that big, and I looked it up online, and it's worth $300. So she got her inheritance early, <laughs> part of it. Can you imagine what's going to go on when I kick the bucket with all this stuff? <laughs> it's a lot of stuff to go through. I hope one of them decides they want to make some side dough. They could probably just take over mine and uh, keep it going. Here's the other one of those earrings from the other night. And, ooh, it's got a hair in it. My goodness, we're going to all die. There we go. <laughs> um, Not really. I didn't like that on the first one. <laughs> I don't like it now either. Here's a really cool threader. Isn't that neat? I like that one. Steel, but still. Steel. <laughs> steel. Here is a little earring with stars. It's a moon and it has little stars and little plastic crystally guys. Can you see it? That's kind of cool. I like that one. I think I saw the other one in here somewhere. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. It's got these guys, and these guys, and these guys. Like every third one has an AB finish on it. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Look. Isn't that neat? It sparkles way more than... I, I don't know what it is with these cameras. They just don't capture the true beauty of these things. Like... Uh, it's gorgeous. Here is a, another earring caught on something. That's a neat one. Purple and gold. Little, little stamped piece over top of the other one. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it. There's another earring. And here's a I don't know what. It's a little thingy with a thingy. It's a little guy with a lobster claw. And this. Which I'm not real happy with. Yeah. We'll decide what to do with that at a later date. Here is a card full of sparkly earrings. Dots and sparkles. I like these studs. They're nice. That goes on the pile of earrings. You're not going to believe how many earrings. is ridiculous. Here is another. Oh, we saw that one yesterday. I think. Didn't we? If not, I'm having deja vu something fierce. There is a da, 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 kitty bracelet. Is that Florida Gators? The orange and blue? I don't know. I can't remember. I don't like sports ball. <laughs> Little brown stretchy guy. Now, why, why I put that in there? It needs to go in the craft lot. Alright, here's a big long. Woo! Okay, first we'll do this piece. Broken. Because Mr. Man likes to break things. He popped that one. Look at that. Why? Why would you. What the. The heck is the point? He's ham handed, this guy that I get, got this from. 
Here's an interesting one. Cute little guy. It's adorable. A little aluminum. And it's got a really screwed up wire on it. <laughs> we'll fix that later. We'll put a new wire on it. <laughs> Louise. Here is a lovely chain. No marks. But it's in really nice shape. It's very shiny. It's one of those kinds. It goes over here with the little chains. Oh, what is that? Please tell me you're not broken. What are you? You have a little, it has a little, little bitty heart with a baby rhinestone on it. And it says, <sighs> says, D-O-L? Alright, let's see if we can't get this sucker to... See? It's upside down, but you see it? D-O-L. And then on the other side it has... That little guy. So if you know this one, let me know. And it's a little, I think it's a ankle bracelet with these cute little crystals on it. Yeah, it's a, it's an ankle bracelet with black and white crystals. See the cute little crystals. So that's one of those. Okay, here's a strange little earring. It's a double pearl with a dagger bead. Kind of strange, but kind of cool at the same time. Because strange is cool sometimes. Oh, hey, here's the other one of those. We got two of them, or did I put that down again? I don't know. I might have put it back down. <laughs> Here is a... Value. This looks like it's part of a... A um, wine charm. It's got a rose and a, f a leaf. And a little purple heart and a little grape leaf and a little flower and a main, the main grape leaf with purple enamel and it looks like it came off of something it was stuck on with glue see that's cute that, that's cute for crafties crafty wafties this is a ear climber. You put the post in your hole and then you pinch this around the, the cartilage of your ear. That's a neat one. I like that. I hope I find the other one. Here's a little... Yeah. It's a little tangled up mess is what it is. It's a star and moon. If I could just get the moon untangled from the star, that'd be great. Uh, we're at 24. 
already my goodness how how fast things go time flies when you're having fun uh, did I get it did it get is it got I don't know I don't know uh eh. peace 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 do the thing Untangle, peach. What the heck? People want to see it, dude. How about if we undo this? That might help. Sometimes it helps. I don't know if it always helps. Shaking the heck out of the table. Yeah. Stop it. Oh my gosh, it's driving me insane. No. No. Criminy. There we go. Look at that. That's adorable. I'm glad I waited. Look. It's a little silver moon. And then there's a teeny little gold star partially up the strand. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. Cutie cutie. Alright, well, we put that back on here. Eh, or not. We'll put it over here with the other ones, the little ones. This is a blue and what and blue and what. Do we have any? There we go. Okay. It's a long strand. A long chain with multiple chains here. Now, I don't know if this little one is part of it and it's all tangled up or what. Or it's not part not part of it at all okay well that's interesting pretty colors put that in there and here is a small chain that has been popped Grr. here is a large chain Without it doesn't have a uh, a clasp on it. It's this kind of chain. It's kind of flat. It's real nice. And then it goes down to these shell pieces. And these ones have some paintings on them. And then there's some little beadies. And there's the middle. So that's it. It's okay. I like the chain on that, but I don't really like the rest of it much. That's 28. We have a very cool. Wait, what the heck? What the heck is it? It's one of these guys. It's really, really nice. But for some reason, like the last one, two, three, four, five links are flipped. And I don't know how to flip them back the other way. Because if I do that, the rest of it flips. That's strange. If anybody's good with that, let me know how. I have to flip them one at a time. Is that it? Maybe? Uh, well, we will figure it out. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. 
No, no, see that's weird, it's twisted. But it's very Monet-like, you know what I mean? It's real heavy and nice and the finish is perfect and there is no name on that whatsoever. But see what I mean? This is the right way around and then these last ones are not. The clasp works and everything. So I don't really know what to tell you on that one. I don't know if it maybe got assembled wrong or... These things are so difficult sometimes. It's a really nice one though. It lays real flat. And I guess that doesn't matter much. I'll, I mean, I'll figure out how to flip it around because it's a really nice piece. We're at 3058. I love all of you. Please like. Please subscribe if you enjoy the content. Leave a comment down there. And be yourself. Because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.